Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So, it's been a long time since I've done a show to yarn haul from, from Hopium. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that. I actually got, Hopium, had, Hopium has a clearance section. I didn't know about that until recently. And when I saw it, I was like, all right, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna try that out and see what kind of <laughs> see what kind of yarns I can get. So um, if you guys aren't familiar with Hobium, I'll tell you a little bit about it real quick. Um, Hobium is a yarn company based in Turkey, and they uh, ship to lots of places. As far as shipping costs go, I'm gonna refer to the United States because I'm not sure about other countries. But shipping is just so so. Um, I think it's like. $18 and then it can go up to $22 but if you spend $150 or more it's free so I always every time I shop at Hoyam I save up my money and I always do the 150 that way I can get it's free shipping and I don't have to worry about it but the Hoyam or the shipping regardless isn't as, isn't as bad as I as some as some uh, companies that I've seen so and let's see I'm not affiliated with Hoyam um, I bought all this yarn myself with my own money. I don't get paid if you buy their yarns. I don't have an affiliated link or anything like that. Uh, links just, it just goes to their website and stuff. So, um, I just, I just wanted to show you that because I really, I buy from Hobium a lot. It's really one of my favorite yarn companies. Um, and I think they have really nice yarns. Um, most of everything that I've got, I've liked. So, I just, I've never bought any of this yarn down here. It was all in our clearance section. So let's go ahead and go over it. I know you don't want to have to leave me a comment in the comment section. I know. I don't need no more yarn. I know that. But I bought it anyways. So let's check it out. All right. We'll start off here. And I'm going to show you what we got here. Like I said, I've never tried any of this yarn and i'm really kind of excited to see it because it was all pretty reasonably priced for their clearance in the for clearance yarn i thought so this is their now the one thing about their clearance yarn is it's all priced for packs so it come this one come in a pack of five and this is their utopia i'm not going to get any of these names right Okay, because I can't pronounce anything. <sighs> Paddock Lux. And it is almost, by looking at it right now, I would say it's almost identical to Caron Simply Soft. It has the sheen. It says on the website that it is a number four weight, and I would agree it's a number four um 174 yards and you can machine wash um and dry 100 percent acrylic yeah i think it's like super similar to care on simply soft now this was 919 for the whole pack of five so that was under two dollars a scheme that's pretty good so if you go check out their clearance section they have a separate section for clearance and you look on it it'll have a price almost all of them are for the packs of five i think there was only a few things that weren't for packs but most of it was the price was for the whole pack of five so it was 9.19 for a pack of five they had lots of pretty colors in this oh yeah it's pretty similar to caron i like it i'm gonna get more of this because i like to use caron simply soft for my baby dresses so that's what that is so 9.19 for a pack of five Pretty good deal. I like it. Starting off good. Next one is Utopia Soft. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's soft. Utopia Soft. Now, this is classified on their website as a number two sport weight. I think it's probably like a thin three weight, like Mandala yarn is what. It almost looks like the same size as Mandala. Maybe even a little bit thicker, but. And it is machine wash, lay flat to dry, 328 yards. 100% acrylic and this was $10.20 for a pack of five so just at $2 a skein and it's soft 
and I like it. Yes, and I'm smelling it. And yes, you could definitely make scarfy stuff out of it. It's pretty, lots of pretty, they had pretty colors in this also. So yes, Utopia Soft. 1020 for a pack of five. Anti-peeling. I will buy that again. I was super excited when I saw I don't know. I've been on Hobium site so many times. I just never noticed that they had a clearance section. I was like, oh my gosh. I even told people on Facebook. I'm like, Hobium has a clearance section. I'm all about clearance yarn. If you watch me a lot, you probably know that. I love me some clearance yarn. Okay, now this is probably not anything I'm going to say correctly. Utopia. I'll hold it up there. Kuzu. I can't say it. You know, you know. And let's see what this is. Machine wash, lay flat to dry. Um, it's 51 acrylic, a 49 wool, 327 yards, classified as a number two yarn. Definitely not a number two. Look at that. You can tell by looking that that is not a number two weight yarn. Maybe, there we go. That looks like a four, between a three and a four. It's a lot of yardage in there actually, 328 yards. And it is, you can tell that it has wool in it, but it's still, the tag came off, but you could still wear it around your neck. I don't think that it would bug you. But, but like I said, it, you can tell that if you've ever felt wool, you can tell there's wool in it. I like it. I'll buy it again. That's awesome. Oh, and this was $11.99 for a pack of five. So just a little over $2 a piece. I think it's well worth that. I'm super happy already. First three packs are good. Ones I will buy again. The next one is called Utopia Baby. And like I said in the beginning, I've never had any of these yarns before. Someone had just posted one of them on my Facebook page and asked me if I would look at it. And I went and looked, and I, that's when I noticed that it was clearance. I'm like, oh, I hit the jackpot. Clearance yarns. Utopia Baby. Hmm. This is 100% acrylic. Um, machine wash, lay flat to dry. 305 yards. And it's classified as a lightweight three. I'm going to say it's a four-way. It's pretty, it'd be a pretty thick three to me, in my opinion. Looks pretty much like four. It's soft. It's not like Carillon Simply soft, soft, but it's still soft enough that you could use it for baby. These run 306 yards, 987 for a five-pack. Mm-hmm. Ain't that pretty? I actually got another color of it too. And I'm gonna order another color of it. I got this green one. And they had some other colors. Now some of their clearance, they didn't have a lot of colors. It seems they sell out of them a lot. But then I noticed they do get them back in. And when they get them back in, they're still in the clearance section. So it's pretty cool. So, but, yep. I wouldn't hesitate to make Evelyn a sweater or something out of that. That's pretty. I like it. All right, that one's good. So far, so good, huh? Let's see. Let's see what we're at now. Oh. This is called La Mia Bonita. I thought this was super, super cool looking. And a really good price. I don't know, though. Maybe that's just me. La Mia Bonita. Look at that. It's got the beads in it. So you can just crochet. And you don't have to worry about stringing beads on your yarn. Yeah. Nice first sweater. You know, it's not overly soft. It feels kind of like... It's softer than Red Heart Super Saver, but... If I was to compare it to something, it's just... Probably like Red Heart with Love or something like that. Machine wash. Lay flat to dry. Um, 80% acrylic, 20% beads. I've never seen that before. That's funny. 
80 acrylic, 20% of its beads. And let's see, it, it says it's a number two weight on their site. Definitely not a number two. That's the thing about Hobium. I've noticed that a lot of their weights are not really in the U.S. They're different. I often They often seem to me to be thicker than what they state. So this, I always try to tell you what it says on their website and then what I think it is. So this says it's a number two. I'm going to say that's like a three or a four, between a three and a four, closer to a four. Oh, it's pretty. I like the beads and they're movable. So you can move them around while you're crocheting with them to get them set wherever you want to. 306, that's not, that's not right. That's not that many yards. 164 yards per skein and it's $7 for a pack of five. That is a good price, I think. And it's so pretty. I got it in yellow also and a pack of white. Uh, they did have, I think, blue and uh, peach and I'm going to try to get the other colors too. I think these are going to make some cool things. See the beads in them? Seven bucks. And another thing is, I don't know if you've ordered from Hobium, they always send you a 15% uh, coupon code if you spend at least $50 to use on your next purchase. And they let you use that with these clearance yarns. So if you have that, you can still use it on these uh, clearance yarns. <sighs> La Mio Bonita. Seven dollars for a pack of five. 80 acrylic, 20 beads. Oh, I like it. I like that a lot. Yes. I'm thinking Evelyn for that pink. She's going to like that with those beads in it. Oh, and these are super cute. Wait till you see these. Look at these little cats and dogs. Okay. Oh, how cute are those? Let's like open one up and look at it. Well, there we go. I think it showed on the picture that you can look. It shows slippers that you can make with it, a scarf. I see a picture of a hat, a bag. So what it is, is a skein of yarn. Yeah, you can make wear it for a scarf. 100% acrylic, uh, machine wash, lay flat to dry. Um, 295 yards and the, both the cat and the dog and then the cat head or the dog head and arms are separate from the legs and the tail so you could sew them on separately to whatever project you're making whether it be a bag or a hat those are stinking cute lightweight number three yeah it's a stick three but yeah i'd say it's still a three that is so cool. These are so cute. 295 yards. You could definitely make your kid a scarf, um, hat, bag, anything like that, you know, that you wanted to. And then you just sew on those or crochet them. I guess you could sew them on or crochet them on wherever you wanted to. These were $4 each. Four bucks. I thought that was a good price. Those are cute. Wow. Yeah, it says one ball will make it either a scarf, a hat, a bag, or socks. And then whatever else you, your mind wanted to make out of it, you can make anything you wanted. They have all a few different colors. I think five or six different colors of puppies and five or six different color kitties. They're so cute. I got... Oh, I got two more, too. <laughs> those are adorable. I thought $4 was a pretty good deal for those on Clarence. That's cute. All right, so yes. Oh, it's doing good. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. Okay. I'm not probably not going to say this one right. So I know I'm not going to say it right. Anyway. Karatopu Kars Carson Okay, and it's a, it's a streamer yarn. Mm-hmm. It feels kind of like uh, Red Heart with Love Metallic, if you felt that. That's what it kind of feels like. And it says it's a number two on their website. I think it's like a number thick three weight. And it is 97 acrylic, 3% 
uh, metallic stuff. And it's machine wash and dryable. 328 yards. And it's $8 for a pack of five. Eight bucks for a pack of five. And that's a lot of yardage, 328 yards. And remember, it'll say it's a number two. I definitely don't think it's a number two myself. I think it's like a three, thicker three weight. In my, that's my opinion on it, so. But definitely thicker than a two. And they had, I think, four or five different colors of this, which I will definitely buy this again because I love sparkly yarn. And you cannot beat it for $8 for a pack of five. Less than that because I have 15%, I have a 15% coupon code that I can use. All right, I wrote down all the prices here so I get it. Okay, the next one, this was one of their more expensive yarns that were in their clearance section. But I thought it was really kind of pretty and I wanted to just try it. This is Car or La Mia Perla? Perla. Now it has beads in it also. Silver beads. See that? It comes in a hank. Um, it'd be not, I mean, it's, what is it made of? 80 acrylic, 20 beads again. Machine wash. Lay flat to dry. Um, too high. It says it's a lightweight. No, it says it's a number four. I'm sorry. And I would agree it's four weight. 109 yards. And then you can move the beads around and put them wherever you want. And it's... You could use it as a scarf. It's so pretty. So it was... This one was $15 for a pack of five. Like I said, that was probably one of their most expensive ones that I've seen in their clearance section. But I thought it was so pretty. I think they had like a red, a blue black and a pink and I thought that would make a really pretty I don't know cowl or something it's all in beads and stuff it'd really look good wouldn't it oh, I'm gonna get some other colors of that too all right Cobium's batting 100 with me on with this with their uh, Clarence yarn okay the next one here's the ones that someone asked me about actually La Mia furla so what it is it's you can make a hat with this and then you got your pom-pom that you could sew on top it's machine washable lay flat to dry 45% poly made 30% polyester 25% acrylic so it looks like it has different uh, types of yarn in it you can see furry yarn metallic yarn fuzzy yarn And these are 109 yards. It says it's a four weight yarn, which it's all got all different weights in it, I think. So, and then you sew your pom pom on top of your hat. These are nine dollars for a pack of five. There's five. They come five for nine dollars. So, under just a little under two dollars, you can make a hat. But you got to buy all five of them to get them for that price. I like it. They had a lot of, uh, you know, I don't remember they had six maybe colors of these. They had red and browns. And I don't know why I got black, but I'm going to go back and get a brown or something. I like it though. Nice. All right. This one I accidentally ordered two packs of the same color, so I don't know why <laughs> that. Probably just excited and didn't pay attention. This is Kara Topu. Can't pronounce that. A K Sim Simly? X Simly? I don't know. Look at that sparkle in that though. Now I, if I remember right, they had a few colors in it, but there was only two available at the time. But this is, let's read it, 92 acrylic um, and 8% metallic. Machine wash and dryable. And it's classified as a lightweight three. And I would agree that is a lightweight three. 
I think that brown is so stinking pretty. Look at that. I'm going to make myself a hat out of this. Oh, there's um 273 yards in this for a lightweight three. Eight dollars for a pack of five. That is so, that is a good deal, I think. Yeah, it's not like, it's not rough, but it's not super, super extremely soft, but you could make a scarf out of it or a cowl, it wouldn't bother you. I'm going to make a hat. That's so pretty. Brown's my favorite color if you're new to my channel and I love sparklies oh that's pretty I don't know I don't need two packs of it so for some reason I got two packs um one of these will, in a pack of this will probably end up in a giveaway so you guys can try it but yes I like this one I'm gonna get more colors of that one all right let me move my other stuff up here I just have a few more to show you. I didn't get everything that they had on clearance. I didn't get it all they had, but I did get some of it. So the next one is the Karatopu Gypsy Yarn. This looks really interesting. Huh. Okay. This is 49 wool, 51 acrylic. You can wash, but lay flat to dry. And it's 109 yards, and it's a bulky six. I would agree with that. Now this, you can definitely tell that it has wool in it. It feels like wool. Not like itchy wool, but it is stiffer like wool. You could still make a hat out of it. Or a scarf out of it it doesn't feel itchy on my neck but it's you can you can tell it's stiff like it has wool in it I like it though that color is really pretty it's like a what would you call that buttermilk color I don't know but it's pretty, oh, that's pretty. this was the only color I, I can't that they had available at the time I think they had other colors they were just all sold out Karatoku wool gypsy I like it what did I tell you? 109 yards. And this was $9 for a pack of five. I will get more of this. I love wool, but I have to wait till they get their other colors in. Because I do remember this was the only color of this that they had available. Like it, like it. All right, next one. This is Karatopu Lamb's Wool. Let's check it out. See what it's about. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Karatopu Special Collection Lamb's Wool. This is classified on their site as a number three weight. I would agree it's a thick three, but it's still a three. And it is 55 wool, 25 acrylic, and 25 polyamide. It's a softer wool not itchy but you can still tell there's wool in it i like it i love wool i love wool yarn that's pretty um 267 yards and it was nine dollars for a pack of five remember you have to buy the whole pack to get the clearance deal they don't um not on their regular yarn you don't but their clearance yarn most of it was you had to buy the whole pack to get it for that deal i like that a lot too Mm-hmm. It's a pretty color too. I don't know. I like kind of earthy tones, so I can't remember how many colors of this that they had, but I'm definitely gonna go check it out again. Okay. I just got a, a few more here. And this one probably not gonna say this right either. Karatopu Basic yarn, bas Karatopu wool basic. And this one feels similar to that one right there. It's, you can tell that it's wool, but it's soft enough that you could wear uh, something around your neck with it. It says on the website that it's a number two weight. I'm gonna say that's a three. Thicker three, but 
328 yards per skein. That's pretty good. And it is 30% wool, 70% acrylic. Um, machine washable, lay flat to... No, you can dry it. Wait a minute. No, lay flat to dry. And... That's nice. And these were $9 for a pack of five. 328 yards. That's pretty. Okay, I've liked everything I've gotten so far. I've not been disappointed with any of it. It's all super good and it's all, it's all really good prices, I think. Okay, I have just a couple more left here to show you. This is Yarn Ends Natural. And it is 100% cotton, I do believe. And it's machine wash, lay, lay flat to dry. This cotton will be good for things in the kitchen. It's not rough cotton. I mean, it's not rough, but it's more of a kitchen cotton, meaning um, when I say kitchen cotton, I mean things that you would make for the kitchen, such as uh, uh, wash rags and dish towels and pot holders, that kind of stuff is what I would use it for. I probably wouldn't make, um, actually, it wouldn't hurt to make a scarf or something out of it. I probably wouldn't make Evelyn a dress out of it. But it would make stuff nice cotton for the kitchen. And this was $9.87 for a pack of five. It says it's a bulky five on the website. It is not a bulky five. It's a four weight yarn. And there's 164 yards per skein. And then I got gray. And I think they had like five colors of it. I like it. I think it's nice. Been nice use for the kitchen. Cotton yarn. And I think when they say lay flat to dry. That would. So it won't shrink. I don't see why. Since it being cotton that you couldn't put it in a washer. It would just probably have some shrinkage like normal cotton. But. So I mean I would make uh, wash rags out of this. and wash. I would probably throw them in a the washer and dryer. You know. I generally don't wash my, um, I generally hand wash my stuff, but, um, dish rags and stuff, it'd be all right to throw them in a washer and, washer and dryer. But if you made a garment of clothing out of this, you would probably want to lay it flat so it didn't shrink. I like this too. That's good cotton yarn. Okay, I got one more. Here. This is the Madame Tricot Paris Jasmine Yarn. Oh, there's got to be some wool in that. 50 wool, 50 acrylic. I knew it. I like it. It says it's a four weight. It is a four weight. It's a thicker four, but it's still a four. Um... There's 218 yards per skein machine wash, lay flat to dry because of the wool. And it's seven bucks for a pack of five. I got two of these, two packs, because I'm gonna make uh, my um, oldest boy a sweater with it. Because a lot of people are asking me to make uh, boy sweaters. And this is what I got this for. So I got two five packs. So I got like, over 2,000 yards. I'm sure that'd be plenty to make him a sweater, but that that's what I got this for, to make him a sweater. Because it's got the wool in it. Definitely not itchy, though, at all. Just feels like wool and acrylic. Oh. Ah, I love it. So, that's what I got from Hobie and for, from Clarence. That's, I like it all. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some more of this stuff. And then I might try out some of their other Clarence yarns that I got. Um, I do want to show you one thing I got that wasn't on clearance though. Oh, you guys might have seen me open these before. Oh, I love them so much. 
this is their this this isn't clearance in their clearance section okay it's just a regular yarn it's the kramer lux karatopu it's uh stretched soft wool look at those colors it's a new color that they got that's why i want to show you it's chain spun yarn if you're familiar with that i don't know offhand how much there they are um it's 50 acrylic 34 percent wool 16 percent polyamide i just thought the color was so pretty um i think they have like um six different colors in this and they're all really pretty i really like this yarn it's really pretty i like chain spun yarn if you're not familiar with that you should look it up it doesn't really split or anything but I don't remember the price on this offhand. I didn't write it down because I wasn't even going to show you. But I'm like, I got to show them that really pretty purple new color of this uh, Kramer Lux that they just got in. If you guys are familiar with Hobium, maybe you follow their colors. This is one of their new colors. So pretty. I love it. But that's it. That's my uh, clearance haul from Hobium. I, I really like everything that I got. I'm super excited to get my boy a sweater made with this. And then Evelyn, I don't know. I got, I thought I would make my son and daughter with something like this, but she goes, Evelyn, she's three, right? She looked at him and she goes, why she got giggly eyes on? Instead of googly, she said giggly. He's creepy. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, I'll use the puppy. Maybe she won't think, she didn't look at the cat, but I'm going to make them something with that. That was my I like it all. So, yeah, like all I always say, hopefully I wasn't too weird with the yarn. I tried to tone it down a bit. But, yeah, I get pretty excited about it. I'm pretty happy with everything that I bought. And remember, I'm not affiliated with Hopium. So, I don't care if you buy it or not. I just wanted to bring it to your attention. You know, I don't make money if you buy it. So, I just wanted to bring it to, bring it to your attention that they had a clearance section. Because I was super excited when I found it. Because I thought it was pretty good prices, actually. So, um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my, my unboxing. Um, I'm super excited to look at this yarn for a while. That's what I'm going to do when I get off here. Just look at it. Thanks everybody for watching me. Bye-bye.